and we are away. Onda Regente missed it terribly. Aeonian was going back in the early stages with Restrict, who's going to make his way over to the back and also to out sit outside Onda Regente. Naxos was away fast, pressing the issue early with Maya Dabawi. Next came up into third there, working along was Desert Safari. He sits third in running here now. Shanti Star was next, followed there by Falsehood, Island Rule. Desert Peace dropping back through the field, being passed on the outside by Bay of Honor, who's three wide with the back. Restrict was next, improving up the rail. Then came working along Desert Safari, followed by Triple Venture. Ha Sim was next, and Aoni in the last one, as Mai Dabawi continues rolling them on. So he's four lengths clear here with 600 metres left to travel. Naxos was second, Desert Safari third, fourth Shanti Star, and fifth to Island Rule. From Falsehood, Restrict, Triple Venture, Bay of Honor being scrubbed along. Desert Peace next from Ha Sim. Onda Regente the rail, Aoni in the last one. Mai Dabawi wants to get this over and done with. He's out by four lengths. In pursuit here up on the outside, Desert Safari. Naxos not making any impressions here late. Shanti Star, Island Rule, Triple Venture fighting for a minor placing as Mai Dabawi gets further and further away from them. Mai Dabawi at the 16th pole, out by four lengths. Desert Safari tries ever so hard, but Mai Dabawi wins well. Mai Dabawi, three and a half on the line. Desert Safari second, Triple Venture gets his minor placing. Third over Desert Peace, Shanti Star, Naxos made no impressions late. Island Rule was next, followed by Onda Regente, Restrict, Aeonian. And the last couple home here were Ha Sim, Bay of Honor and Falsehood. Bupat Seema and Taigo Shea on the board tonight with Mai Dabawi. Mr Nasser Asker. He injected plenty of tempo in the event and he was able to continue on with it. Off the rating of 90 here this evening, the five-year-old son of Dabawi is too good. Four wins from 15 starts heading into tonight, now five from 16. My Dabawi has gone on to record a great win here, second up for season 23-24. That's a very impressive performance from Mai Dubawi. And don't underestimate the ride as well from Taigo Shea, who has got the fractions just about spot on on this son of Dubawi from stall one and made all the running. Well, he didn't lead in the first sort of 50 yards or so, but he hugged the inside rail, managed to get in front of Naxos, and he timed things perfectly out in front. Excellent work from Taigo Shea. And Mai Dubawi has beaten Desert Safari, who has run well, had every chance to reel in the leader, but just couldn't land a, a big blow. Uh, Triple Venture, as you heard from Pat, as often he does, he's run very well and consistently on the dirt, and he has stuck on to be third. Shanti Star, the best turned out, the grey down on the inside, back and forth, Desert Peace, Island Rule. Naxos had every chance, but checked out rather tamely into the straight having sat close enough to uh, Mai Dubawi. And that perhaps is an indication of what a very good run that is from Mai Dubawi, who went a good pace, but not that much that he didn't have anything left for the end. Tiger Shea got the fractions just about right, and Mai Dubawi has ended up winning pretty comfortably uh, over this 1,400 metres distance. That was a pretty smart effort from both horse and rider in racer.
numbers in the seventh event on the program. The Lincoln race over the 1400 metres, five, six, eight and 13. Five, six, eight and 13, your numbers. My Dabawi, the winner in a time of 124.82. Margins, three and a half by three lengths. Five, six, eight and 13, race seven. Great stuff, Ty, down here, bud. Alan. Sound. Time to welcome back the winner of race seven, the Lincoln race, trained by Bupat Sima, owned by Nasser Asker, and brilliantly ridden by Tago Shea. A big round of applause for Mai Dubawi. Well, in the week of his birthday, I think he said it was his 25th birthday. I think that was what you said earlier. So I, I have to say, that's a. I know sometimes we talk about runners that come from the back being brilliant rides, but I thought in terms of timing, that was terrific in terms of getting the fractions right. I look, uh, when you get stall one around here and you've got early like the horse he has, it uh, makes my job easier. Um, you know, he, he's a horse with a lot of talent. He won his first race for our stable last year, and I told his trainer I thought he'd be a Jebel Ali sprint horse, but he's fragile. The, the team is a be do a great job. Um, he's not the soundest horse, you know, so, um, but he's a high-class horse on his day, and when he puts it together like that, he's very good. Interestingly enough, because of the pace you were going, I think some people were expecting horses to come to you, but I don't know how aware you were. There was nothing that ever really threatened to land a blow. And I, I, I promise you, when it works, it, it's great. But like, I was half speeding on him, and I couldn't, I couldn't get him to go any slower. <laughs> we ran in a sprint, uh, his first run for us this season at Jebel Ali, and I was, I was back around his tailboard then. So he's, um, he's a horse with an awful lot of ability, and um, I just thought if we could get him out and get him out, and, because he works with the good horses at home, but he just hasn't delivered, you know, as much as we think. But to be fair to him, he is fragile. He has his issues, but. When he's good, he's very good. Well, you can afford those 25 candles for the cake now, so well done. Cheers, Rich. Thanks. And correct weight is given. Race number seven.